I've strongly believed that protests should be peaceful. And therefore, I deeply regret uh, the Greeks who had their property uh, injured and who suffered losses through these demonstrations. But I think that uh, the important thing is that we reaffirm the value of the relationship between our two countries. I think that I know most Americans deeply value the relationship with Greece, notwithstanding the fact that almost all the people of Greece disagreed with our policy in Kosovo and before that in Bosnia. I believe I did the right thing, and I think most Americans believe that we did the right thing to stand against ethnic cleansing. But that doesn't affect our affection for and our support for the people of Greece and the government of Greece. I believe we have strengthened that partnership. Thank you very much. Yo. Finally, let me. May add also a point. Η Ελλάδα είναι μια χώρα δημοκρατική στην οποία ο καθένας μπορεί να εκφράσει τις απόψεις του. Αλλά όπως είχαμε τονίσει και πριν την έλευση του Προέδρου Κλίντον, επιβάλλεται από το Σύνταγμά μας. Η έκφραση αυτών των απόψεων είναι ειρηνική. Να εντάσσεται μέσα στα πλαίσια της νομιμότητας. Και λυπάμαι ότι μερικοί δεν επρόσεξαν αυτή την βασική αρχή του δικαίου μας. That the permanent conditionality of uh, Turkey's candidacy should be first the solution of Cyprus' problem, and second. Yeah, I believe that the disputes over in the Aegean between Greece and Turkey should be referred to the International Court of Justice in The Hague, or to some other mutually agreed on and generally recognized international dispute resolution mechanism. It seems to me that that is the only way that either side can have a resolution of this without appearing to cave in rather than just to let a neutral party respect it, decide it.